Yo, what's up everyone? Here from Movie Night are here. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play on my channel. Yes, we are playing Ori and the Blind Forest. This is a really, really good game. I'm actually very surprised by how good of a game it is. So, for those of you who don't know about Ori and the Blind Forest, this is a game, one of the most beautiful games I've seen on Xbox One to date. And it's kind of, it's like story heavy and there's action in it and platforming. It's really my definition of a perfect game. The perfect video game. So I'm super excited. I've already played a little bit on my practice file. So that's what this is. Um, so I kind of know what's going to happen, which is there's really, well I shouldn't spoil, but we're going to get in this empty slot right here and get started into the game. You guys should hear game volume, but I won't. Okay. We shall always remember the night. Well, this guy's talking for you. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, the tree is talking. That's us! That's us! Oh my gosh! That's us! <coughs> okay, I shouldn't have done that, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited. So, just watching this cutscene, I should probably shut up now, which I will do. Okay, we're playing as this person now. I forgot, I forgot this person's name. Swallow's Nest. Like, Nairu? Not Nairu. That's Zelda. Ah, I forgot this flippant person's name. Going really slowly though. Oh my goodness. I remember when I first played, it's like, I was looking at how slow this person was, and I'm just like, oh, please don't tell me we're playing this person the whole game. It was pretty funny. Run and jump and stuff now. That's always good. That's always good in the neighborhood. Just look how beautiful this game is. Seriously. Just finding food. That's so cute. It's not even funny. Okay. Can just barely do this. Why can't Ori jump? He seems to jump much better. Oh, that's a lot of food. That's a lot of food. We're building a bridge. That's so nice. That is so nice. I'm really quiet though, because I'm far away from the microphone on purpose. I'm far away from the microphone on purpose so you guys can hear the cutscene. That could last you like a month. And okay, we're gonna just like take it back, I guess. You gonna just stay here? You gonna stay here? Oh, I totally just ignored a cutscene part. I don't remember what it said. I didn't really pay attention. When I met the skies and bees. Okay, that's strange and weird. Who's talking? Are you still a tree? Is the tree still talking? Oh no. 
So exactly what is going on now? Oh, she's looking for food! That's sad! Okay, phew. sad moment I feel a lot of remorse but still if you have you not ate like like those thousand pieces of fruit in one sitting this might not have happened when the forest was banned oh there's the title oh my god that's so sad that war is gonna go get Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? I can't get over how beautiful this game is. Okay, there's a spider. That's a little creepy. That happens a lot in this game, but I don't, I don't know why they're always scares me. This is such a create. I wonder who who's the creative, like creative control behind this game? Because that person is a genius. Oh, I'm actually controlling him. I assume because he was walking so slow. This was some sort of cutscene. control myself I'm like is he gonna get up ever oh my god this is a dark beginning this is a pretty dang dark beginning oh crap did he get pricked or something sorry But Jesus, this is heartbreaking. Now, how I don't how exactly am I gonna get out of this? When my child's strength faltered. Okay. Wow, this 
this is really heartbreaking. Ori! And the last breath was drawn. How are we already at 10 minutes? I, I was planning on making the, I'm just not sure about how long I want to make these Ori and the Black Forest videos. They're gonna be uploaded kind of like twice a week-ish. This is a little side of the play. So I think most of it like a lot of it will be pre-recorded when we go because this game is crashing issues and sometimes it takes like 10 tries just to get the game set up. So a lot of times it's gonna be fully pre-recorded all the way up. But yeah, I plan to release it like twice-ish a week though. And I maybe I wanna make it like so because it's only twice a week. I plan on making it like around like 15, 20 minutes long, maybe 30. This episode might have to be a bit longer because, okay. Oh my gosh, we are saved. Yeah, now we're actually getting into the game, but yeah, cause, just because of this episode, because of how long the prologue took us, then yeah, we might, oh man, what's down here? This is an exploration game. It's just kind of like an open, okay, I can't look at the map. Can I, how do I look at the map? All right. Here we go. Yes, this is really open exploring. I mean, there's stuff you're supposed to be doing. It's not like that kind of open world, but you're, all your objectives are in this open world and you just gotta like explore and try and find your way around. It's really cool concept. I love this game. Okay, yeah, so. So that's a really cool thing. So it's like more, it really is open world adventure. Oh crap, no! Get out! Ugh. And now we go all the way back over here. And like you also, another really cool thing, you like unlock abilities as you play on, as you keep on exploring. It's a really awesome game in that regard. Just open exploring game in this open world. Well, you, you, they tell you what to do, but they don't tell you how to get there or anything. It's not a level, it's just you gotta figure it out, explore for yourself. Well, now it's just explaining some of the different elements of the game. Energy cell, these are important. Because these things are soul links that save your game. Now for me? Oh, it's forcing me to. Good. Because I'm gonna try not only use them when I need to like end the episode because I don't want to save if I don't because you know why well the only thing about, I probably won't do that with this game and the reason I say that is because how do I get past that stuff though the reason I say that with this game is because like if you die you go back to your recent save and that can be a problem later because if you're saving like really far back where do I go? do I go this way? yeah probably Oh crap! I almost have enough for. And there's even a skill tree in this game though. But yeah, in most games I won't save until like the very episode because so if like the episode messes up in any way, I can just redo. So I can just really just redo the episode. Deep in the forest, or I found what was lost. Press X to pick up the tiny light. Okay, let's go. But yeah, so really fast with this game, like, and it gets like, like I'm gonna put where I'm at in my practice file. I'm already at the point where like every time I get it, I have to save because that's how difficult the game cut. <laughs> Quickly, my strength is returning. I'm seeing the the light and the eyes of the spirit tree. I was lost in this glen when she loosened her grip. I can guide you on your journey if you allow me to come. But be still. Can you hear that? They must have followed you here. What is that? Yep, this is our combat system. The spirit flame. And we are gonna beat up these enemies. Ouch. Yeah, I'm gonna knock you right out of the air, buddy. Have a little black ops so Are you kidding me? I hate these guys because they catch you off guard. They just every like the those last two times. We yeah, have the spear flame is a combat system in this game. Really interesting concept. They can be upgraded and stuff. It's really cool. 
It's got a lot of useful furniture, and God, look at this massive world we have to explore. So, new objective, find the spirit tree. Now, looking on the map, the spirit tree is up there. But we are going to have some new paths open to us. Well, first, let's break this, because I want some hearts. Nope. Also, if you look down at the bottom, right, you probably already noticed the blue orbs and green orbs and the spirit gauge. But what this all this does is pretty much the blue orbs is the save point thing I was talking about earlier. Um, the green stuff is my life, and the red is your soul points. Now this is something. This is a very important ability that I'm buying right now, and that's rekindle. And pretty much what this does is you can go back and like when you create the save point, it comes on me, But now I can save my game again. Okay, now I can save my game again with this same soul link, which is really helpful. But yeah, since purple stuff that was damaging us that we couldn't get by before, here we go. Now we can actually make it go away with the spirit flame, just attack it with the spirit flame. Okay, there's an enemy up there. An energy shard. Energy shard sounds okay. Okay, so let's just go on it. I think. Okay, got a bit of a point. Practice file is kind of wasted in this game because I cannot remember. Like, the whole point of it was so I'm not completely lost and I know kind of what I'm doing in that let's play. But I'm still pretty lost and I still don't know what I'm doing. Okay, what, what, what just happened? Just activate the spirit rail. Is that it? Is all those up there? What about the like? Okay, whatever. That's pretty disappointing. Oh god! That was pretty disappointing. Okay, let's go. And see what's up here. Now that we, I think we can make. Oh, there's like something up there. It's like kind of... It's to the right of us. Okay, like it's down there. That's something we need to get, probably. That's like those things you're gonna need a lot. Those things are the major hassle in the game. Okay, so... Oh. Okay, yeah, hold on. Teach right and the move objects. Now I'm going to, is this how, yes, haha. You're gonna need these things a lot. Open spirit gates. Okay, wait a minute. Let me examine, I can't, there's not enough of this room on the map for me to examine the situation here. There's a lot of platforming in this game as well as a lot of combat, which is which really cool. And this is another energy cell. Now, I don't want to fall to my death here. Okay, we do not. And then we have arrived at a spirit gate. The spirit gate blocks us. They are built for protection before the days of decay. They are, the required keystones must be nearby. To reach the spirit tree, we can pass the spirit caverns that lie beyond this gate. Doing this is awesome. This game is so fun. I love this game, really. I didn't expect to love it, but oh my gosh, do I love it. I think they said we were supposed to go here. <gasps> Always flipping catches me off guard. God. I don't want none of this. Stand the flunk back. Okay, another energy gate already. That's awesome. Okay, good. 
lot. Try and collect all these that I can, even though I'll do upgrading at the end of the episode, I think. Yeah, even though I have all these points, I'll just do that at the end of the episode. That's a bit less, so I don't have to waste it. Maybe my save is just to uh, upgrade. Okay. Ah, uh, great. How did I get back up there? Have we been down here before? And now I am stuck, even though I just want to get that stuff. Yeah, magnetize it over. Okay, it'll disappear. I think this is a new, yeah, this is a new area map. Ooh, them dodges go. Okay, there's a lot of little things over here. Did not need to fall down. I meant to kind of like peek over the edge so I could. Okay, that was an interesting enemy, to say the least. Wait, how are we gonna get back up? Oh my god, what's going on? There are those that turn to hope. Oh, I can't jump or anything. Let's see. When she's ravaged and killed. Who is she? That's a bit too scary. The light of the spirit tree lives in all of us. He's the reason we're alive. He's the reason we grew. When you call out to find you, many years past, you were attacked, wounded, and killed by our foe. Who is our foe? Now these ancestral trees are all that's left behind. Come closer and feel the light. A fill. <laughs> fill the spirit inside. Oh, that's to absorb light! You learn wall jump. To use ability, push towards the wall, press and you can use it upward. Yeah, very helpful ability. You can see we can get up here and there's a little energy cell. I can now use more energy. So I think I'm so I think that is where we're gonna save off the game. There is a couple areas we need to backtrack to. But yeah, so I think I'm going to create unless this is a save station. Nope. I'm gonna create a solo link right here. Game saved, and then I'm gonna quickly upgrade to end off the episode. So we almost have enough for two, but not quite. Spirit bag, so I could yeah. Creating a soul link. Now, this is one of the most useful paths. Like, you get a lot of good things from this path, but investing it right now isn't always. This isn't always the best to do right away. Like, looking at this path. Like, this is more of an offensive path, but this path has some useful things that come with it also. I guess I'll go for this. I don't need offense right now. Okay, so now we are gonna save again. That's our rekindle so helpful. And that is where we are gonna end the episode off. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Ori in the Blind Forest. And if you wanna see more, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye everyone, see you all on the next one.